Hey friends, this is Lynn Terry of clicknews.com and um, just getting things set up here and you should be able to see my screen. I hope it's working okay. Anyway, I wanted to just um, pop on real quick and do a screen sharing video with you and show you a live example of super easy content creation, content marketing, and content repurposing. That way, um, it just kind of gives you an idea of what I do in my own niche and this is outside of internet marketing. I have a blog here that you can see on the screen that's travelinglowcarb.com. So I go by the handle Low Carb Traveler around the web. And basically, I help people eat low carb or eat keto everywhere but the kitchen. And kind of as another little side segue to that, I help people get in shape everywhere but the gym. So with physical exercise like getting out and jogging with your dog or hiking with your dog or um, just hiking with friends, joining hiking groups, like all kinds of fun stuff. I've been working in this niche for almost nine years and it's because I'm passionate about the topic. I really, really enjoy it. But anyway, I'm going to dive right in. We'll make this kind of quick. I want to show you a live example of how easy it is to take one piece of content that you create and make the absolute most out of it. And I refer to this as content repurposing, but really it's just smart marketing. And honestly, it's, it's as much about marketing as it is about really serving your market really going all the way with any piece of content, any one piece of content you create so that you can better serve your audience so that more people can benefit from what you have to say or what you have to share um, or the inspiration, motivation, education, tips, demos, whatever it is. So I'm going to show you these live examples here real quick. Um, and this goes back to content I created two weeks ago and content I created today. Hi, Karen. And so, um, how and how that all works together. So two weeks ago, I it all started when I went live on my Facebook page. So I this is the first time, by the way, that I've ever done picture in picture screen sharing live video on Facebook. So I'm going to attempt here real quick to switch over to my browser. And yes, it works. I think you should still be able to see everything. All right, good stuff. So let me swap things around. So what I want to show you is this. Um, I have several tabs open here. One of them is my Facebook page. This is my niche Facebook page. And two weeks ago, I went live on my page and did a live video, Facebook Live. And I did an unboxing video, so kind of like a product review, except we also did a fun little chat. So you can see that here with my mouse. So this was a Facebook Live. At the time that I did it, there were not 4.4 thousand people on live, just so you know. Um, most of the time when you go live, there might be one person or five people or 15 people watching live. But once your live video is finished, then it goes into your video library and it is permanent content on your Facebook page, which is public, which means it's indexed in the search engines. It's also available via Facebook search. And Facebook is a great search engine. If somebody is searching for Keto Crate reviews, Keto Crate unboxing, um, Keto Chat, um, you know, November Crate, all kinds of different variations of that keyword, they could easily find my live video that's recorded and put into my video library on my page. <clears throat> but here's what I want to tell you that I did that was really cool. I recorded this from my desktop computer, um, actually from my MacBook, and at the same time I had my mobile phone behind my camera so that the cameras lined up and I used this little thingamajig right here and I put my phone in it and I lined up the camera on my phone with the camera on my computer and recorded myself, myself doing the Facebook Live. So then, so this is about taking one piece of content you create. I just did this video one time, that's it. But I've made content for two weeks across a variety of platforms. So anyway, so I, I did it live on Facebook at the same time I recorded it. I'm gonna have to shrink this over here just a little bit. I Still trying to figure out how to work this. There we go, got it. All right, so at the same time I recorded it and I would go over here to my Instagram and there's something called IGTV. So we'll go over here to IGTV and this was two weeks ago still. And I, since I recorded it, I also was able to put it here on uh, Instagram as an IGTV. Same video, I just recorded it on my phone also. So see, we can pull that up real quick and it'll play. 
The great thing about IGTV is you can have clickable links on IGTV, no matter how many followers you have, even if you only have two followers. It, if you use IGTV, it will allow you to um, use live links, so that's a cool trick. The great thing too is when you upload an IGTV video, it also goes on your profile if you select that option, and you can upload them from your desktop, which is great. So you just go right here. I'll show you how to do that while, while we're mentioning that. You just go to your profile, logged in, go to your IGTV tab right there, and click Upload. And it will allow you to drag and drop a video file right from your desktop, which is awesome. So anyway, I, um, I did this same unboxing video, of course, uploaded it as an IGTV. And if we go back to my Instagram profile, I'm going to show you how I made content out of this for about two weeks. One video. So there it is on my profile. It's had also almost 4,000 views and 36 comments, which is really cool. And um, again, it has the clickable links and stuff. So it creates content everywhere. So that was two weeks ago. And I created more content out of it today. But if you fast forward one week in between, there's a cool feature on my phone. While I'm doing this video, let's just say, for example, um, and I don't know if I'll be able to mute it. Yes, I can mute it. So let's just say, for example, that you're watching the video or I'm watching this video on my phone. And at the end of the video, we're just kind of having this casual chat, as you can see here. Um, and I start talking about my favorite keto collagen. Let me see if I can get back to it. I'm going to show you. So I, there I am. There I'm making a great face. Let me um, pause that. There we go. Okay, so I'm talking about my favorite keto collagen. Now, when I go back to this video on my phone, there's an option on my phone while I'm watching a video that I made that I can pause the video or I can do it while it's running. And there's a little square box up there. And if you tap it, it will allow you to take screenshots high quality screenshots, not screenshots like you take with your phone, but it will let, allow you to take photo grabs out of a video, which is super cool because you can take a high quality photo grab straight out of the video. And it looks similar to this little box right here that says go full window. It took me a while to find it, but it takes, like I said, photo grabs out of live, out of videos you recorded on your phone. So I was I went back to this video and there are two different things that I um, talked about besides the Keto Crate unboxing, which made for great content two weeks ago as an IGTV and a Facebook Live only recorded once. But I went back to that video on my phone that I recorded and did those screen grabs. So one week later, I did a promotion for the collagen I talked about at the end of that video. I also made a story out of this, which was longer and didn't cut my head off, but this is a screen grab out of the video. So you can see that I'm talking, it's a goofy face, whatever, did I care? No, not really. Um, but what I did is I said, this is the keto collagen I use daily. Now I could have just put a picture of the product up as, as the photo that I'm posting on Instagram, but if you're posting yourself with it, that helps a lot. The second thing is my audience knows me and they follow me pretty closely and they know that six months ago my hair didn't look that full. My hair was falling out, it was breaking off, it was very stringy and thin. This collagen has thickened and fluffed my hair up like crazy. So me being in the picture with the collagen with my hair looking full is actually kind of helpful in terms of the results that I'm getting with this collagen, regardless of the fact that I'm making a goofy face. I didn't really care. Anyway, um, I said this is the keto collagen I use daily. I saw fast results with my hair and nails. You can see my hair and nails both in this, um, in the fuller version of this picture that I used other places. Because not only did I post this screen grab or this picture out of the video, on Instagram, I also posted it on my Facebook page and my Facebook group, on Twitter, Tumblr, Pinterest, and copied and pasted the caption and put it everywhere. Now on Instagram, you add hashtags. When I paste it onto Facebook, I remove the hashtags and I make sure everything is tagged and linked correctly. So you just um, copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste, and then slightly modify for whatever network it's on. So you shorten it for Twitter, um, you add links for Facebook, remove um, hashtags everywhere, only use two, three, four hashtags on Twitter, etc. So little things like that. But what I really want to talk about is easy content marketing and content repurposing. 
Again, I shot one video two weeks ago, and I'm going to show you all the different ways I made content and sales out of that. Obviously, um, I did um, really well with conversions of Keto Crate when I unboxed it because it's a great product and I had a great coupon code, a great deal for it. At the time that I posted this, a week later, I was in the process of running a special offer, a special weekend promo on the collagen. So it was actually 20% off and plus something, like there was a special deal. Now, once that deal was over, and so when I posted this, it did, it converted very well because it was a special offer. Once that deal was over, I went back and edited this post and took that out because it would be a conversion killer if that particular discount code didn't work after the offer ended. So I went back and edited it to be evergreen content or an evergreen post with my regular 15% off coupon code. But this is a screen grab out of the same Facebook Live video I did two weeks ago. One week later, I did a collagen promotion from a screen grab photo of that video. <clears throat> so the next thing I did a week later, which is today, so two weeks after doing the original Facebook Live, I went through and was just um, thinking, what else can, what, how else can I use that video? So today's post was about Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is next week in the U.S., and a lot of people are really worried about staying on track um, with their diet during the holidays or what have you. So I took that opportunity because in the Keto Crate box that I unboxed two weeks ago on Facebook Live, there was this thing called the Thanksgiving Survival Guide, which was really cool, and I talked about it in that video. But when I did a screen grab, it didn't come out right, the right size, like one-to-one -one ratio or 1080 by 1080 for me to post on Instagram. And so I was also was doing, as I was doing the screen grabs, I also flipped the photo so it was the right side of me instead of an inverted side of me. And they were side by side, and I thought, there you go, that'll make a square picture. And it's kind of funny or weird and kind of catches the eye because I'm mirroring myself. I don't know. I don't think that hard about these things. I'm really flying by the seat of my burning pants. I just thought it's cool because it's mirrored. And um, it kind of makes the Keto Crate box look cool too. But instead of making it all about Keto Crate this time, in instead of making it about collagen, this time I said, what are your Thanksgiving plans, keto or not? And I talked about what I'm doing for Thanksgiving. Um, and I said, no judgments, just curious. I would love to hear how you're spending the holiday. Then I said, P.S., because it's relevant to the photo, this month's Keto Crate box has a Thanksgiving survival guide in it. Did you see that? Love the cool addition. And I talked about the fact that you can still get this box. Here's where you get it. Here's my discount code to get a discount on it. Monique said, I really like the mirror picture. It's different. I don't know. I'm just having fun with it. Like I said, again, it's you know, taking one piece of content I created two weeks ago and you've already seen three different promotions um, or three different, you know, pieces of content that were well monetized. So this was a lot of fun. I also, of course, um, put this in my stories. This has 59 likes and 14 comments, which is cool. I just posted this earlier today. In fact, you can see I posted it eight hours ago. It says that right here, eight hours ago. Um, it's also in my stories where I also restoried my Facebook uh, or my IGTV video with the unboxing because I said that, let me just go back here again, if you go down to the comments, I said in the comments, I did a video unboxing of this month's Keto Crate. If you want to see what all you'll get, just go to my IGTV, IGTV tab on my Low Carb Tra Traveler profile and look for the video where I'm wearing this same outfit. Or I put the link to the video in my story today to make it easier. Do you see what I'm doing there? It's all about serving your market. How can I learn more? Where do I go? What do I do? Just make it third grade level because it's hard for me to find things people are talking about. So I am saying, you know, do this to make it easier. Another thing I do on Instagram is if you can't find it, just DM me and I'll send you the link. And they do, and that's helpful as well. So do whatever it takes to serve your market. So then if we go to my um, IG stories, I have this. I put this post in my stories. What are your Thanksgiving plans? The next story is that they can go watch the video, which, of course, has live links and things like that. Now, how do you do that? If In case you want to know, when you're looking at or you post something on Instagram, um, I don't know that I have the option here online like I do on my mobile phone but it might be 
No, that's a different share. But on Instagram, you actually have the option to share it directly to your story. So there's a um, one. It's one of the options. So just look at your post and get familiar with the features, and you can do the same thing with your stories. So let's say I did a story, um, you know, two weeks ago, and I want to put it on my stories again, or on IGTV, and I want to put it on my stories again. Then I can easily do that. Um, I don't know if the share. No, nope, that won't work. So, but on on your mobile device, you can easily share it straight to your stories again. Anyway, I want to just show you what else I did with this content. Okay, so what you've seen so far is I recorded one video. I did it as a Facebook Live. While I was on Facebook Live, I let my phone record that so that it became an IGTV video. Then I did screen grabs, and one week later, I did a photo uh, promotion of the collagen I use that makes my hair look this fluffy. And then a week after that, which is two weeks later, I um, did a promotion that was basically about the Thanksgiving Survival Guide and, hey, what are your Thanksgiving plans? And you can still get this box. But it's conversational and fun, too. Monique said, what is the app that allows you to get a screen grab from your videos? So that's a good question. So let me just see if I can show it to you real quick. Um, one second. So I'm going to go to a video on my... And I have a lot of really funny screen grabs, like, like check these out if you can see them. I mean, and you could use these in so many ways. Can you see that? It's a little glared, I'm sure. But these are just random screen grabs. Um, these are just random screen grabs from videos, and they go into a special folder. And if you can grab the right ones, then you can do something fun with it. So we'll go to the video, all right, and I'll show it to you. So when you're playing the video, how does this work? You have to hit play video for it to work, and a lot of times what I do is pause it, pause it and get to the thing I want to grab and then touch this. So you have to tap your screen, but there's this little, this little thing. Can you see it or not? Let me get it back on there. This little thing. Did you see it? The little square? Wait, it keeps going away because you have to tap the video. There's a little square right there. I didn't even know what that meant. But you just tap that and it'll screen grab and save that photo is right there. I just did another one. So did you see how I did it? And that's hilarious. Oh, the picture. It was hilarious. But, I mean... Sometimes funny pictures are going to get people's attention more, right? Yeah, so I play the video on my phone, and as it's playing, the easiest thing to do, how do you play it again? Oh, that's back to the picture. Come on. So the easiest thing to do is you play it, and then you hit pause. And then from there, you drag to the place that you want to get to. So let's say right here. I'm talking about... Fat fit go, but I want to scrub back. I'm paused. Okay, so I want to scrub back to get a good. What I love about that product because I have it in my hand. Bam, right there. Okay, now can you see it? I'm holding a very specific product that is strawberry lime, it's like a margarita nut butter. It is so good. Can you see that? So I'm paused. Now I'm not playing it on Instagram. I'm on my phone in my camera gallery. And then up here is this little square thing and you just tap it right there and it'll screen grab it. And then I can do another promotion. You say it may just be a Samsung feature. You have an iPhone, but if you Google, um, uh, if you Google picture save pictures from phone videos from my iPhone videos and just see maybe it is but you never know <clears throat> okay so anyway that's how that works as far as that feature goes so I did these two screen grabs and I inverted them and um, it may just be a Samsung feature but you can screenshot you pause the video and you know how to do a screenshot on your phone same thing 
So good enough. All right, so then I did this content. So that's three different, three different or separate types of content that I did, that social media content. I did a Facebook Live and IGTV at the same time. Um, I took still graphics or screenshots out of those videos and talked about the collagen I used because I discussed it in that video, and that's here. Also made an Instagram story or IG story out of that. Um, then I did this one today, so two weeks later. So I just spread them out and and get the most mileage I can for that particular content. So um, that's another promotion for Keto Crate, but it's also a really good discussion about what are you going to do for the Thanksgiving holiday? What are your plans? So I also posted this on Facebook um, and posted this everywhere else as well. But the other thing I want to show you, because this just gets better and better, okay? So one more thing, and then we'll close this out, because this is so simple. This is so easy. In addition to IGTV and um, Facebook Live, I uploaded the same video from Facebook Live. I took the Facebook Live video and uploaded it to YouTube. So now I have video marketing on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. So I have YouTube, IGTV, and Facebook page. I shared the video from my Facebook page into my Facebook group. So now I have four places that I have this video that can be that can reach different people wherever they prefer to be, right? So that's content repurposing. You want to get the most mileage or traction out of every piece of content you create. Again, so you can better serve your market, but also so you can increase your reach and reach more people with that content you created one time. All right, so it's on YouTube. It is on Instagram on my feed. It's on my IGTV feed. Um, it's also, of course, on my in my Facebook video library archive. Hang on one second. <clears throat> so that's permanent content. All right, and then what did I do next? I'll show you the grand finale, and then we'll close this down. We'll close this up. So I'm because I'm and I'm interested to hear any questions or feedback that you guys have on this. So then today I wrote a blog post. And it says, what are your Thanksgiving plans, keto or not? You recognize that? Because it was captioned for my social media profile. So a lot of times I will go one of two ways. I will either write a blog post that has a lot of great information and then I will piece out the points as social media content or I'll take all the social media content that I've been sharing recently and piece it together into a blog post. And the cool thing is, Again, getting the most mileage, I use um, a Weber and I have it set up as a blog broadcast. So every single time I write a blog post, it also gets sent out to all three of my niche email list in this particular niche. So we'll go look at this particular blog post um, where I said, what are your Thanksgiving plans, keto or not? Um, and it's a really fun blog post where I just said, let's catch up and chat a bit. I have a video note for you that made me cry. This was also a Facebook Live and IGTV video originally that's also on YouTube. Um, but I said, first, what are your Thanksgiving plans? Um, my son's hosting. We're grilling ribeyes. Um, I'm just curious what you're doing, how you're spending the holiday. No judgments. And speaking of, so what did I do here? Can you tell? I copied and pasted this caption from my Instagram and Facebook post and reformatted it for a blog post and embedded the same image. Copy and paste is my absolute best friend when it comes to repurposing content because my email subscribers haven't necessarily seen this content yet. I have a lot of subscribers that want to keep up by email because they're not on Facebook or they don't use social media. Um, so it's important to, to make sure they get to see that content as well. Again, copy and paste. If you didn't get the crate, they're still shipping it, blah, blah, blah. I did an, un, a video unboxing of this month's crate here, and I linked to my Facebook Live, but I also embedded it into the blog post. So you can watch it right from the blog post without having to go on Facebook if you have an aversion to social media, and some people do, especially with my demographic. So then I scroll down and I keep telling them stuff. So here's what I've been eating lately. So these were two social media posts that I shared lately, but I explained how I've gotten in the habit of eating one big meal a day. And I said, when I shared this meal, 
on Facebook, comments ranged from, is that all you eat, to, I could never eat that much in one sitting, which is kind of funny. So that told me, hey, I've got some explaining to do, which makes for more content, blog content. So I took those two posts and I actually copied and pasted the captions off Instagram and Facebook. This is what I'm eating. Um, you know, here's what I had. Here's the pictures. But I added more to that. And I said that those ingredients, the bacon, the smokies, the eggs, and the palmetto cheese all came from a recent trip to Kroger. So I got to insert a grocery picture. And that brought up the fact that I brought sausage and um, cauliflower rice and something else I used the same cheese for and said I used the rest of these groceries to make this great keto hash. So I embedded the post from Facebook that talks about that because that was really popular with 35 shares, 152 likes, 46 comments. Everyone loved that recipe, so I want to get it in front of more people. Um, I'm conversational. I say I'd love to hear what you're eating lately and how things are going with you. Slim and I have been enjoying the great weather and the bacon together this week. And I show the video where he did his morning exercises for a piece of bacon as a treat because he's a senior Dane. So I have to try to keep him moving um, so he doesn't get, you know, too stiff. Try to keep, it, keep his exercise going. And always cute pictures of pets do well. So I said, Slim wants to know, is there any more bacon? <laughs> Which is really cute. Last but not least, I made a video for you. And this is where I embedded yet another Facebook Live um, that I did that I also recorded at the same time and put on IGTV. So I basically took all of the different um, social media updates that have been really popular and people have really enjoyed across the web in various places, put them all in one place so that people who are subscribed by email can get notified and updated and catch up on anything that they missed. But again, um, I only created th those pieces of content once. They were already online. It was a copy and paste job. It was a blog post that didn't take me long to write, but would really serve my market in a good way. So it'll be interesting to see how that goes. Any thoughts or any questions about that? And I ask because for me, video marketing or video creation or content creation of any kind, whether I'm writing a blog post, whether I'm doing a social update or whether I'm creating live video or, or recorded video, for me, it takes time. It's an investment. And I absolutely want to get the most traction and I want to get the best return on that investment that I possibly can. But on the flip side, I want to best serve my market in terms of making sure that content, those ideas, those options get in front of the most people in the ways they prefer to consume content, whether that be on a certain platform or in a certain way. Um, so that gives them options if they prefer YouTube, and some people do, or if they're searching on YouTube for the November Keto Crate unboxing, or if they're on Facebook. Um, some people prefer Instagram and like Instagram stories. So serving people where they are without having to recreate the content over and over and over is the ideal way to get the most um, traction and get the best results in the absolute least amount of time all for any single piece of content that you ever create. So once again, as just a final note before I close this, you either piece out the, you know, the best tips or the little tidbits out of a blog post you wrote that's really good and, and piece that out into different social media updates, and I do that too, or you take your social media updates and piece them together into a story and, you know, have a conversational, you know, story where you embed those or use those same Im images but copy and paste the captions and such. So thoughts or questions on that? Are you pushing your content out to that extent? Are you getting every single piece of content that you create in front of that many people or posted on that many platforms? I would love to hear if you're doing that. If you are, drop a comment. Show me a live example. I would love to see where you took one piece of content and show me at least three places where it's posted where you didn't have to recreate the content, but you were able to um, get it out in front of more people by doing that. Um, obviously, you know, once I put the videos on YouTube, I can then promote them on Pinterest, on Tumblr, on Twitter. 
can embed them into my blog post as well. I prefer to embed my Facebook Live videos or my Facebook videos into my blog post because that gives me more views, which gives me a better social media rank and more reach and engagement on the um, Facebook platform. Which at in, at the point at this point, my two highest converting um, mediums, content mediums, are um, Facebook and email. So it makes sense for me to create the original content on Facebook, but also to make sure that that content goes out by email. So I hope this proved useful and helpful. I hope that it gave you some creative ideas. I think it's fun to see behind the scenes how other people work in their niches and um, ideas that they come up with so that you can implement that or try that or test that or you know maybe see how that will work for you and what kind of results you will get. So I look forward to hearing that from you. We can just hop over here as I'm closing out because I'm going to um, go ahead and, and close this video. I just wanted to give you a super quick behind the scenes look at what it takes to repurpose content. So we'll go over here to, and I'm going to keep having to scoot things over here. We'll go over here. Um, I just uploaded this again earlier today and it already has 14 comments. So people like sharing what they're going to be doing for the holidays, asking people questions, not just doing product reviews, but saying, hey, this was a really cool feature in this box. Um, you know, but really, I'd love to hear what your plans are for Thanksgiving and saying, you know, to my audience, no judgments, just curious. I want to, you know, hear how you're spending the holiday. And it was a lot of fun. So there's actually 29 comments. And since we're on here, we should be able to. Uh, may not work from here specifically, so let's go over here. So then you have Facebook Insights, where in incredibly helpful for determining what kind of content people like or don't like. <laughs> Let me screw that up. Hang on one second. There we go. All right, so we're on the same post, which again I just posted about 80, um, 80, eight hours ago. We look up here, it was eight hours ago. Um, so we'll go over here. It's giving me a little bit of a fit. Hang on. All right, so I'm just going to do that number. Okay, so we get down here, and these are um, over 4,000 people reached, 337 engagements, 29 comments, two shares. That's all fun stuff and good stuff. But if you click right in here, you can see your insights on a per post basis to see how well um, they're performing. So there's only been one link click, which is fine, um, but there's been uh, 61 reactions, comments, and shares, 29 um, comments on the post, five comments on shares of the post, which is really good. And some of the comments were mine, so I can't track the number of links that were, or the number of times the links were clicked from the comments. But I also um, copied and pasted that bit out of um, that bit out of the overall caption for that as a separate entry, and I copied the other bit that said I did a live video unboxing. If you want to see what you'll get, and it links to that video, so I made two separate comments where I copied and pasted bits out of the longer caption and put them in the comments to make it easier. But you can see right here, let me, I'm not able to scroll now all of a sudden, so I'm just going to go down a little bit chunky um, like this. Wait, there's my scroll bar. It's playing with me. Um, so this lady says, I'm patiently waiting for my keto crate. Thanks so much for doing the unboxing. And she talked about it's about to arrive on um, Friday. And you always want to respond to responses because she says Friday. So I could have just liked that, but I did a little dancey and excited, you know, thing with her because you want to keep that conversation going. Um, another person asked, and we're talking about our Thanksgiving plans for the most part, but um, another person asked, how much do they cost? And I answered her question, which gave me an opportunity to do, opportunity to do that again. So anyway, that's a lot of fun. We're having some really good conversations and discussions. Um, it's not just directly promotional. It's conversational and fun, um, and, uh, but it is very relevant. So anyway, that's it. Um, and Kelly has a good tip here for Monique. She said, I use Snagit. So is that an app for the, for the iPhone? All right, so um, we'll go back. 
<clears throat> and and then of course like I said I did a blog post which I just published a couple hours ago that didn't take me long at all so lots of repurposing and any thoughts or questions on that um, are you doing that I would love to see some live examples feel free to share links to examples of what you're doing in the comments I'll come back and answer any questions that you have and I'm um, more than happy to take a look at your examples let me see what I can find here yes and answer any questions you have so if you need help with content marketing content ideas content repurposing um, if you want to show me a piece of content you've created and pick my brain and ask me how would you repurpose it by all means go for it I am at your service on this topic because I thought it was fun and just wanted to show you a live example that's it for now. Um, I hope that you're having a great day, um, super productive week. It is the biggest sales season of the year. It is the holiday sales rush. So um, be making the absolute most of your content, creating lots of content, getting it out there in as many places as you possibly can. That's it for now. Um, have a great rest of the day or night. Leave a comment if you need any help. You know where to reach me around the web as Lynn Terry, or my email address is asklynnterry at gmail.com.